we want to keep evolving what we do and changing what we do. What I was wondering, uh, have you been to Hawaii? Uh, no, I've never been. I don't think any of us have ever been there. But it's a nice uh, idea, you know, it's, it's an idea more than a place when you haven't been there. What are you thinking of when you think of Hawaii? I think of, you know, I think of a, like a classical paradise island, you know, where you just enjoy life and it's exotic, you know, like somewhere you can dream yourself away to. Yeah, you, you said the, uh, the world is great. Do you think maybe this kind of dreamy places are getting more seldom now? I think it's, it's, uh, it becomes more, uh, I think there's more, there'll be more and more escapism, you know, the bleaker the world gets. I, I, I don't think the world is a bleak place in particular. I think it, the world is an amazing place and, and uh, a somber place at the same time. But uh, I think people need these ideas of paradise, you know. Have you maybe encountered yourself practicing esca escapism a little bit? Escapism? Esca yes, absolutely. Um, I think most people do. I think, you know, when you watch television, that's escapism. If you watch a sitcom or if you read a book, it's all partly escapism, isn't it? You know, or even if it's just to escape boredom, it's still escapism. But escapism is a good thing, in my book. Would, would maybe the thing that you do now, make music, is that also a form of escapism? escapism? Yeah, um, of course. I mean, I think everything is somewhat. I mean, it's a lot of different things, isn't it? You know, it's also my job. It's also a way for us to express ourselves, um, a way to communicate you know, um, put things into words and music that you can't just write down or tell someone, you know. So it's a lot of different things, but escapism as well, definitely. Which, are there maybe then similarities that, maybe some things that you haven't seen, Hawaii in this case maybe, is there also a beauty maybe in that case in things that you haven't encountered yet? Maybe that Of course there's, a, you know, it's just like, the monster under your bed, you, you probably couldn't draw it, you know, because it would never be as scary as the real thing, you know. In your head, it becomes more scary, and in your head, a nice exotic paradise island becomes more like paradise, you know, than it actually is, probably. But then, when it comes to this creation thing, when it, in the music way, do you have sometimes that when you have created a piece of, of music or a song, do you sometimes, the idea that you have captured, this kind of thing that you want to maybe to, to try, or is it always, uh, you see where it, how it comes out? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that we're, we're very conscious about the final destination of what we do. It's more just throwing ourselves into it and, and see what comes out of it, you know. And, and then you start, picking up these pieces of the puzzle and putting them together and seeing a grander image yourself as well, you know, and making it work, you know. Um, but we don't sit down with like a master plan, you know, like that. Is it maybe that because of that, that you don't do that, that you cannot fail or you will? Um, I think that's just the way we, we like working, you know. I always felt like <clears throat> when, you, when you start painting a picture, if you're a painter, I think if you already know, I mean, most people say you need to know what to, to paint before you start, otherwise it's not going to be good. But I don't feel that way. I think that um, if you work knowing exactly what you're going to paint, then it's, it just becomes the work itself, you know, it becomes a tedious job getting it, getting the paint on the canvas, you know. Whereas if you experience what you want to create while you create it, it's, it's more interesting and it's more spontaneous and, and um, there's more life in it somehow. Do you think maybe, is there a difference then creating visual stuff and creating music? You said you, you worked in, as a post-production uh, in a post-production yeah. company. What kind of things did you do there? Is that, um, well, I used to... Um, I used to work in, in the film industry, I used to uh, make a lot of uh, 
special effects and animation and stuff like that. And um, I did that until we, we got signed to a major label. And I, you know, I still do a little bit of animation for the band, mm -hmm. um, for our live visuals that we have. Um, but um, yeah, I think for all of us in the band, uh, music is a very visual thing as well. Like we often discuss the music in, in visual terms, like, okay, and then we reach this you know, corridor, and then this happens, and when maybe there's like rain fill, like with symbols, or you know, we often talk in, in imagery like that, you know, when we try and express what we mean. Has it always been like that, or is that something that's shaped its way uh, along the way? I think it's it's always been like that. We we have our we always played together, you know, since we went in school. Um, we started playing in like the eighth grade, so we kind of developed our own language. I think you know it'd be I think it'd be strange for other people to listen in on the conversations we have because mm -hmm. we just have a, a, our own way of um, expressing things. 